would be useful if you actually reviewed the products instead of reading product descriptions. Would be nice if you made a video where you tested the products and showed us what you really get. Remember that cheap items are made in large quantities and lack attention to detail. Alright, alright, I hear you, it's actually been a while since the last unboxing video. But behold, I present you a new unboxing video. I've had this footage for a while now and I never got around to releasing it, but the products have been tested for a while and I can tell you what they really last like. First item of the video, socks. I've bought a lot, like really a lot of socks, I can't emphasize how many. And every single pair of socks I've bought, I have been happy with. Yes, they rip, but what socks don't rip? I've had 75 cent socks from AliExpress and $4 socks from regular retail stores. And all of them rip after some time. The question is, would you rather spend less or more on the same thing? The second item that arrived in this lovely long tube is a home decor item. Here we have a Guillaume house rug. I'm not sure what material it is, but it's soft and nice to the touch. The rug has lived in my house for about 4 months until it moved away with my now ex-girlfriend and they now live happily ever after and the rug is still as good as new. Or at least so the legend says. The next item has made a long way from a country neighboring to my homeland, Kyrgyzstan. Here we have an activated charcoal bamboo soap. Supposedly people used it to get rid of blackheads and for some other therapeutic skin effects, but I bought it because I thought it would be funny to see black foam bubbles and to make my hands white with black soap. I'm sorry I don't have the video of me using it, so please take my word for it on how entertaining it is. The next very practical item are these sticky pads. I have bought two, the round and the triangular one. And the round one has gone into the oblivion not too long ago after being purchased. According to the description, they are said to be able to hold up to 1 kilogram of weight, so why don't we test them out? Here I'm using the pad to attach the tablet to the washing machine that is going to do the spin cycle. The machine that I have is as shaky as Indonesia, but the pad has held tablet like a champ. I decided to make things a little more interesting and to use it with something heavier. So I used this almost new bottle of dish soap. The dish soap has also held fine for about a minute until I got tired of sitting and looking at it, so I decided to use the pad with something even more interesting. So I took this empty metallic coffee mug. But since the mug is round and the fusion area was too small, the mug test did not succeed. But I am still happy with the pad as it has proven useful. The next item we have is a regular canvas belt. It came in three different lengths, with this one being the smallest. I don't want to shame anyone and I just want to point out that there are two bigger sizes available. The belt is also still as good as new and the buckle works absolutely fine. Here we have a keychain that I have paid around $1.50 for. I like how it says launch key with the radioactive sign because I use it as a key tag for my motorbike that sounds like a goddamn rocket. There isn't much I can say about the key tag other than the fact that I still use it every day, except for the last 3 weeks because my bike isn't running supposedly because of the plugged carburetor. So I have been riding my tricycle to work. Another interesting item that I have ordered is this USB voltage meter. You plug it into the device the output of which you want to measure and plug the other end into the device that will draw the power. The display will show you the amount of voltage, the resistance and the electric charge in milliampere per hour. I haven't used it much, but the reading seems accurate and realistic to what the devices are supposed to be. The next three items are fancy natural soap. I have bought three different kinds because I like how they smell and also why the hell not. The price hovers around $2.50 to 3 and I paid $2.68 for this one. There are seven different kinds in this active listing that I found, from regular scents like lavender to more experimental ones like goat milk. The next item is doggy poop bags. I usually get these bags in bulk and one roll with 15 bags per roll come to around 35 to 40 cents also per roll. Here we have the peeler slicer for potatoes and other veggies and fruit. I don't have the unboxing video for it, but let's just see how it works. I, I like potatoes. I eat them relatively often, fried, mashed, boiled, as part of the soup, as hash browns and so on. Here is me peeling a brown russet potato to show you that it works pretty great. I, unfortunately, I don't have the test of the slicing part in video, but you can make zucchini or other veg noodles from them. But since I don't mind eating carbs, here is another potato being peeled in normal time. And while we do it, here are some interesting facts about potatoes. The word potato comes from the Spanish word patata. Potato plants are usually pollinated by insects such as bumblebees. Potatoes contain a variety of vitamins and minerals. For example, one medium-sized potato has more potassium than a banana, half of your daily dose of vitamin C, and it also is a good source for vitamin B6. 
Based on 2010 statistics, China is the leading producer of potatoes. The brown russet potato, which you see here, is the most common potato in North America. They are usually sold for around 50 Canadian cents per pound, which at this time is around 82 US dollar cents per kilogram. Here we are going to change the hands for the extra excitement. These are sunglasses with a metallic frame that Maria has bought for herself, but I borrowed them every once in a while. I don't know if they're meant as unisex, but I thought they looked good on me and I didn't really care. The last time I've seen these sunglasses was in October, and since I have used them in the video released in July of 2017, I will make a safe assumption that they are at least one and a half years now. And they still are as good as new. Say what you want about cheap mass-produced products, but as long as your hands don't grow out of your posterior, these cheap things can last you for a long time, and if you lose or break them, you can always get yourself a new one without breaking the bank. The next item is a t-shirt with a rounded edge. I have said before that the material is bamboo fiber, which I'm not sure if it is anymore because I've had this discussion with some friends and some have said that it was synthetic. From my experience with Chinese AliExpress t-shirts, synthetic is staticky and feels different and it is not breathable, which this t-shirt is. Nonetheless, I still wear this t-shirt sometimes, but not as often as I have some food stains on it and I'm embarrassed to wear it to gentlemanly places. The shirt hems and stitches are relatively well made and there are no loose threads. The material is stretchy and comfy. Being 187cm tall, which is around 6.2 feet, I would normally wear medium and large, and this t-shirt in Asian sizing is double XL, which fits me well. And the last item of the video is this spill stopper silicone lid that I have paid around $5 for. In retrospect, that seems a bit too much, but sometimes when I boil potatoes, I forget to turn the heat down, and the water opens the lid and gets outside, creating a mess, and this lid helps me to avoid the unnecessary mess. There is a ton more unboxing and testing videos in this playlist, and more text reviews on our site. You can see the links here. Cheers!